Hello, I'm Su Chen Christine Lim from Singapore, and I'm going to read from Fistful of Colours, the book that won the inaugural Singapore Literature Prize. I'm going to read two extracts from one from a Christian father, who is the father of Janice Wong, and the other one from Zul's father, who is Muslim. And these are their reactions to Janice and Zul's uh, marriage. This is taking place in the house of Janice, in a shop house in Geylang. And Janice is packing up to leave home. We have brought up a right proper Christian, let me tell you. Joseph Wong glared at his wife from the top of his reading glasses, ignoring Suwen, who was standing by the door. What kind of mother are you? Tell me which mother will let her daughter give up her faith like this. Tell me. I want to know. Maybe I'm a poor, old, ignorant man now. The man's to be pitied, Suwen thought, wishing Jan would hurry and come out quickly. Her father was looking impotent and diminished, a bundle of fury shaking in his cotton singlet and striped pyjama pants. Listen, Suwen. He suddenly turned to her. You are the friend. You can be the judge. We brought Janice to church every Sunday. Without fail, rain or shine, sent her to Sunday school, sent her for Bible class. We did our best for her, my wife and I. The church can't blame us. No one can for the way she has turned up, except for Martha here. She was always giving in to the children. He turned upon his wife again. You are the one. You never say no, always acting like a doormat. You forget. You have the authority. You are the parent. Weak, let me tell you. Mrs. Wong did not reply. Her eyes were red from crying. Su Wen took her by the hand and led her into the kitchen. What for I work my butt off to send her to a good school, a good Christian school? The old man's voice followed them, shouting into the hot afternoon air in the empty living room. What for? The son's a hopeless bum. The daughter's a spineless bitch. No backbone. If she has any backbone, she will insist on her own beliefs. You are happy now, Martha? Proud of your two children? She's leaving, disowning us. I can do the same. Let me tell you, from this moment, pui, he's fat. I have no daughter. Now I will read the extract which is a letter written by Zhu's father in his hospital bed. My son, I am an old man inclined to worry, sometimes unnecessarily. Tonight I share with you the fear and worry in your mother's heart and mine. Mark does not say what is in her heart sometimes. So I shall say it for her. Mark loves her children. She worries about all her children and grandchildren. I shall come straight to the heart of the matter. Mark and I know that what you feel for Janice is not bagai embun di hujan rumput, a transient love that will pass like dew on the tip of a blade of grass. You will marry her and you will have children. Mark and I worry that your children, that is our grandchildren, will be neither here nor there. Aye yang tenang jangan sangka tiada buaya. Don't think there are no crocodiles because the water is calm. My son, I dread the day when the Malays and the Chinese clash, like on May 13, which I pray with all my heart, inshallah, will never happen again. But if the dreaded unforeseen should happen, 
what will become of your children, my grandchildren? Will my grandchildren be torn and be distrusted by both sides? You are a newspaper reporter and no stranger to the kind of ethnic troubles found in different parts of the world. Have you and Janice thought about the kinds of problems your children might have to face when you discuss housing, finance, career, and the 1,001 things which two persons about mar to marry like to talk about? Please forgive an old man his pessimism. Do not think, my son, that I am going back on my word or withdrawing my blessing. I am not about to do that. Janice Wong is a fine young woman. She has visited me regularly in hospital. Tonight, I am simply expressing an old man's thoughts and an old woman's worries. You have not told us very much about the parents of Janice Wong. Mark and I think that they are not happy about their daughter's plan to marry you. You are Muslim, they are Christians. And this can be one big area of trouble. Therefore, Mark and I were very, very happy. Blessed be Allah, the All-Merciful, when you told us that Janice would be taking lessons at the Muslim Converts Association. Allah be praised. Tell Janice that I welcome her into the community of believers. May she grow in understanding of the faith of the great prophet. She has great courage and great love for you, my son. Love and cherish her. The heart of the old is faint, but that of the young is brave. I admire the courage of youth. May Allah, the most merciful and compassionate, guide you and Janice always. Bapa. Thank you.